here with Beneath Trees Hi. from Savannah, Georgia, via everywhere else in the world, from where I understand. <laughs> yeah. Um, how did you guys meet? How did you guys figure out you wanted to play music together? I don't know. Um, we met in, in high school, actually. Um, and uh, But we didn't start playing until, uh, I think I was like 20 or 21. Yeah, I was probably 22 at the time, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it was just a house party, right? Yeah, we just played in his parents' basement for a while, and then uh, yeah. we played in my basement. We played a show uh, yeah. with a bunch of pretty awesome New Jersey bands uh, yeah. back in the day. I think it was like, I think it was like Only Living Boy. Yeah. Uh, Melissa Luciola played. Yeah, bunch of bunch of really great locals at the time. What is it? There was one other really great band with a really cool drummer. I don't remember. <laughs> but, yeah, we ended up moving to Savannah, Georgia, around the same time, and. Uh, yeah, we just got in contact with one another. We lived like a few blocks away from each other. And uh, yeah, so we uh, started playing shows pretty soon after. Yeah, we, uh, yeah. so then, yeah, in Savannah, it was really, I think, when we started the kickoff, we wrote a bunch of songs and uh, played a bunch of shows, a bunch of DIYs, bars, yeah. like everywhere we could down there. <laughs> pretty, almost like simultaneously, I was starting uh, a music collective in Savannah, Georgia, and uh, so we played a bunch of thr a bunch of shows with that. A bunch of touring acts came through, and uh, yeah, it was great. Um, just played consistently for a while, and then uh, yeah, I, I went traveling for a couple of years. Uh, we were on hiatus for like over three years, yeah. and uh, during that time, I was like just hitchhiking around the country, and I uh, started working on playing guitar more again and stuff, and. Jenna was in a couple of different projects. And yeah, I toured a couple times <clears> too. <throat> did Beneath Trees in a couple different forms. But <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, so just kind of, you know, we're all over the place. And what was grow when you guys were growing up, what was playing in the house? What was the music that you're... Um, whatever was fun, whether it be, you know, mother, yeah. father, aunt, <laughs> uncle, grandparents, first. nobody. What, what, what got you going? Uh, my first, the first CD I ever owned was... Uh, Darkness on the Edge of Town by Bruce Springsteen, uh, growing up in New Jersey. I was uh, just saying, yeah. <laughs> kind of has uh, to be that, right? That was like, I don't know, that was kind of like his first like hard rock record. Uh, yeah, my dad got that for me, I think I was like seven years old, and uh, I always wanted to be a musician, you know, I always wanted to just, you know, make music and entertain people and stuff, and um, yeah, so I, I started playing guitar when I was like 13, and uh, moved on the drums, but uh yeah, uh, you know, kind of all over though. Uh, Meatloaf, Bad Out of Hell, Back in the Hell. Both of those records are like huge growing up. Uh, yeah, uh, a lot of like 70s rock. And uh, yeah, what about you? Uh, kind of a little over the place. Uh, my dad listened to a lot of like, yeah, 70s rock and yeah. Grateful Dead, I think is also from a lot of Grateful Dead. Yeah. But uh, um, my mom's from Puerto Rico and her dad's actually a musician and so we listened to a lot of him, Bobby Capo. She also really loved Jose Feliciano, who does, you know, a lot of Christmas stuff. It's a few months that I mostly for. And then she also like had Tom Jones and Frank Sinatra always in the house. And uh, and then my stepdad listened to a whole lot of reggae and like Aretha Franklin. Like reggae did a lot of uh, toots in the Maytals and uh, uh, Bob Marley, obviously. Uh -huh. And then my brothers, my brother, I listened to pretty much everything he did. Just all his records all the time. I listened to a lot of Pink Floyd and uh, Led Zeppelin and all that. I think a lot of, you know, growing up in the 90s and 2000s and all that, new metal was a big part of growing up. Uh, like a lot of, like, Corn and, like, Slipknot and bands like that, which kind of, like, paved the way, I guess, in a sense, because, like, uh, from there I started, like, diving more into, like, punk rock and hardcore, and being in New Jersey, there was, like, totally a scene for that, and, uh, yeah, so we were both, like, a part of that scene very much so growing yeah, up, Yeah, and I think we know? both started going to shows pretty young, and so, like, listening yeah. to our friends' music started off pretty pretty young. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. booking shows and playing shows and all over the place. With that. Side note on Puerto Rico, I, was, I have a lot of friends down there. I was teaching down there for a while, sports medicine stuff, and I've never met a happier bunch of people that... They're the greatest. The <laughs> dancing every second that they possibly <laughs> yep. can to the most happy music yeah, that you can be listening great. to. It's so definitely... That's great to, that's yeah. to see. Good to see the smile on your faces. Yeah. Like that. Um, let's see, if there was an artist uh, that's touring that uh, obscure or not obscure stadium, you know, or small club playing, who would you love to collaborate with? Who would you love to 
open for? Or who'd you love to just to hang out with? Uh -huh. Who would you like to do that for? I don't. I mean, when you ask that, I I feel like a lot of bands I listen to don't play anymore, unfortunately. But we were listening to a lot of uh, um, the Kurt Vile and uh, Courtney Barnett uh, yeah, collab, uh -huh. and uh, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> they seem like cool people. Uh, I'm a huge fan of like Nako and Medicine for the People, and uh, Twiddle is another really great band. Kind of like more jammy stuff, but uh, yeah, that's like my guitar and vocal stuff is more along the lines of that, you know, kind of jammier stuff. Uh, and if Jerry was still here, I'd totally go. Well, that's the, that's the next question, <laughs> going, of course. Uh, if there's an artist or group, of course, that, yes. that you would love to play with that is no longer with us, sadly. Would that be, and you know, of course, Bowie and Prince is always at the top of almost everyone's list. <laughs> yeah. Every uh, band that we've interviewed has said, you know, Bowie and Prince. Sure. And if you guys say that, that's completely <laughs> fine. But uh, deceased artists that you would just love to, to be with and hang out with, collaborate with? That's a tough one. Yeah, there's so many. Um, uh, top five. Right, between the two of you. Between the two of us. Yeah. Yes. Oh are you, are you round off three and I'll, I got what? two. What? <laughs> okay. well, well, I can, I can name three. Okay, okay. Uh, um, you, know you go first. <laughs> uh, definitely Jimmy. Uh, well, Hendrix or, uh, or Jimmy Hendrix, I guess Jerry Garcia. Uh, Janis Joplin would be good yeah. too. Yeah. Uh, who else who would you want to? I'm blanking. They're not oh. dead, but I love the entrance band. They don't oh, yeah. play anymore. That was the last on. question. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Just keep jumping ahead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> um, who else? Another two. I guess. Uh, uh, who else would you love to play for that is no longer here? Tupac. <laughs> would you really? I mean, would you really? Uh, yeah, you? honestly, yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah, honestly, I would. I mean, our music is... would not fit together well at all, but... Uh, you mentioned by the, well, you mentioned the 90s, though. exactly. I'm, yeah, I mean, when, the, they, when the thing started, you know, Korn was playing with whoever, that, yeah. you know, there was a movie that came out that, you know, hard heavy metal was playing with hip-hop yeah. and rap and stuff. 90s was kind of the, right. the meshing what was kind that? of decade. Family Values Tour was, like, big with yes. that. I remember that. Yeah, uh I was pretty young at the time, but I do remember there was a lot of hip hop fusion going on at the time. And what do you guys love about touring around the country? Um, well, meeting different folks, hearing different kinds of music. Uh, I like seeing stuff. Yeah. The landscapes are so different yeah. all over the country, and yeah. it's just the, I don't know, I feel like every place has a different vibe, and it's kind of cool to feel it out and find which places fit nice and... There's exactly. funny ones. <laughs> California was funny. It had the Woody Guthrie's. Woody Guthrie. Okay. Oh, That's, yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> That's no. we are, we're thinking of like 60s and 70s right now. But, but there's so the, many more. Um, Oh man, the um, Do Re Mi, I had that song stuck in my head all through California. Cause, I mean, we're, so accurate. Because yeah. it's just like. We were super broke in California. Yeah, it's like it's beautiful, but. <laughs> <laughs> not so it's high. easy to be broke in California. That's where I'm from, so I understand no completely. Joke, yeah. My yeah. God. And exotic places that you guys would just love to see yourself play, or exotic people that you would love to play in front of, whether it be the Pope or whoever. <laughs> well, we're talking about... <laughs> He's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. He's, a cool yeah. He's a cool dude. Yeah. My He's grandma cool. would be really happy. Yeah. Uh, yeah uh, well, we, we're talking about maybe doing uh, like a New Zealand or Australia tour in the fall. Uh, it's kind of totally in the works still. Yeah, yeah we uh, love you guys over there. Uh, love you guys. Yeah, we want to do that really bad. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I want to go everywhere. I really want to go to Portugal. Yeah, I mean, you know, put a put a thumb and or put a what's the word? Put a thumbtack on the on the chart, and we'll just go there wherever it is. <laughs> you just know? made that same. Just, <laughs> so I like that. That's the name for the next <laughs> album, right? Yeah, it is, yeah. Just put a thumbtack in the chart. Yeah, on the on the map. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, we're thinking of some other places too. I have a lot of family in Puerto Rico. My, I have a cousin that um, she goes to a lot of shows and has friends in bands. So yeah. hopefully we can get over there um, and play a show at some point. Um, also, have family in Bermuda. That would be really nice to go. Yeah. Let me know if you go to Puerto Rico. I'll let a ton of people yeah. know where you guys <laughs> yeah. are playing for sure. Be great, man. Beneath Trees, thank you guys so much for playing yeah, here tonight. Kind of Records for being here. And please, anytime you come through the I 10 or 25 South, Stop in, we'll set something up for you guys. You guys were fantastic. That sounds great. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you guys. <laughs>